I'm David and I study electrical and electronic engineering. I'm Christopher Hill and I study electrical electronic engineering at Liverpool John Mars University. When I first started looking at universities to study engineering, um, looking through the overviews of the courses and, and getting a feel for what, what, what I, ex I could expect from the course, John Moore stood out to me. Um, not only that, as I heard from one of my friends who I studied at sixth form, he came here to do an engineering course and he was nothing but praised for the university. He said, you know, he, he'd really settled in well and he was really getting a, a well, uh, along well, so it really pushed me to come here. I think the course is very, very balanced, which is the reason I chose it. There is aspects from both electric and electronic which give you a wide variety and a choice and experience in both helps narrow down into what you'd like to specialise in in the long run. For me, from a young age, I've always been interested in engineering from the aspects and the principles behind it. Even just holding a mobile phone in your hands, you know, how does that work? How does that connect to the internet? How can that send a text message? You know, just little things like that have always like stoked my interest in engineering. And when I left A-level, it was all I wanted to do was just find the right course. The support from them has been very, very good. If there is anything we've needed at all, be it for uh, advice on coursework, advice for the exams, further reading or just general personal issues, we can go to them and they are very welcoming and they pretty much go really out of their own way. The facilities at the university are brilliant. We've got the LRC which is, you know, provides ample computing um, possibilities for, for students. Um, also a lot of material for reading in, in your chosen subject and also from the electronics labs we've got two of them and we also have um, machinery test rigs that we can that we can perform ex experiments on for further further in our knowledge in that in that area meeting all the people to be honest uh, getting to know everyone making friends that most likely will keep for the rest of our lives but there has been aspects of the course where we've actually got closer to everyone the trip to blue paris which was in our first year. Um, there was a lot of team building exercises and also there was a bus in our second year. For me, there's a wide range of things that um, spring to mind from the trip to Blue Paris where you know, we, we got to go out and see some industrial application, some turbines, some power plants, but also the practical work within the labs. We've been on multiple projects individually and as a group and you know, designing, for example, a line following robot. I, I really enjoyed that. It was it was it was um, hard, but you know I really enjoyed doing that. It's fantastic. It's a very very welcoming city. The people are very very friendly. Well, I love Liverpool. I'm from Liverpool originally, um, and I didn't. I, as much as I, I looked at other universities to move away, I did visit a couple of other cities, and Liverpool's brilliant. It's got loads of events. It's got loads of great nightlife. There's a, there's just a real buzz around the city. It's a great city, and I I, I don't want to move. Uh, it has really helped. In all fairness, in the first year we did the Bronze Award Certificate in which we learned about CV writing, a um, little bit of problem solving as groups, sort of person you are um, by doing like a personality test on which sort of role in a team you would choose. Uh, there's interview training, they offer a hell of a lot to be honest. Yeah, I mean, just adding to what Chris said, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity to go over there if you need an help with CV writing or for interview technique. You, you can't actually, you know, book a, a personal interview where you go all dressed in a suit and they'll give you, you know, feedback direct to what um, sort of industry you're looking to go into and, and how you could affect, you know, effectively better yourself in the interview. Uh, I would like to be a chartered engineer. The area I'd like to specialise in is systems engineering or project leadership. Uh, pretty much follow my uncle in that sense. I would like to work in the sort of mili civil military area. For myself, I've, um, I aim to be a chartered engineer also, um, but I'm more drawn towards the electrical side and the electronic side, so something in control systems or something in power systems, maybe working for an oil company or in that sort of manner, that's what I'm interested in.